Hey, greetings from Texas. Um, doing some mods, more mods on my 2018 year old gear up. Um, on my trip to British Columbia, I kept uh, rubbing up against that with my riding suit and I melted my shin on the gear. So I got this, um, in this particular case, olive drab fiberglass exhaust tape or exhaust wrap and I put it on. So um, briefly how I did it, <clears throat> I soaked the roll that it came in. It made it more pliable and this is fiberglass. So when you're cutting it, um, little fibers and stuff get suspended in the air. It kinda keeps you from breathing them and it makes it uh, a little bit easier to stretch. So when I started, I started up here at the small end and I folded about because you can see how it frays and it'll continue to fray. So I folded it over when I started it, went around completely once and then put the first clamp on and then overlapped it. And this is um, two inch. I think I continued to wrap it and um, using these, which came with it, I got it off of eBay, these uh, stainless steel ties. I had to put two together to get around this part of the, um, the muffler. And we just kind of keep it as tight as you can all the way down. When you wrap it, uh, when you get to the end, I went ahead and went completely around again. And again, I folded another uh, inch over. So that frayed end is on the inside and put those clamps on. If you have a hard time with the clamps, I used needle nose. And what I did um, to get it tight is I clamped onto it and kind of how the old tin cans. And I just rolled this here and I rolled it kind of like a can. When I got it tight enough, I just bent it back over and cut off the excess. Um, anyway, that's what I did here for now. And um, on to the next mod, I'm painting the uh, fuel can and the um, ammo can that came with this. They're in black. Um, couldn't get the olive drab from the factory, so I'm gonna paint those. Okay, if you have any questions or anything about wrapping your exhaust, give me a shout, or there's plenty of other uh, videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Okay, so um, here's the factory ammo can, and that's the factory fuel can for the Ural. So I went ahead and painted that. You can see the difference. Don't be in a hurry to paint it. Um, I didn't prep the surface, because I'm lazy. Anyway, just do light coats over the top. And I'm using the Cryline Camouflage Green, which is the closest thing to the uh, factory olive drab I could find. Okay. All right, let me get this dude done. And um, this is a windshield for my fairing. I'm using it as a paint shield because it's wrapped up so I don't paint my floor. Okay, let me finish that. Like I said, um, don't worry about coating it the first time. Just get a, a bunch of light coats or better than um, one thick coat. It gives something for the paint to stick to and cure. All right. Okay, other mods um, I've done on the Ural so far is I took off all the factory consumer stickers, you know, the big stickers that were here. And... Um, the big thing I wanted to do is take the reflectors off, the factory reflectors, and those are just um, adhesive on. So I just used a heat gun and it came right off and uh, didn't even have to clean it. it. Came off really clean. So what I did is I put um, tail bright black reflective tape. Kind of comes like this. I put them on all my bikes to increase visibility. And then what I did is I put them 
on the side. So during the day, you can't see it. But at night when a headlight, so I'll move this into the light. Kind of got the reflection from uh, my garage light. But you can see it, it gets pretty bright at night. It actually is brighter, more visible than the uh, factory reflector. So that'll keep you being seen. Anyway, other than the, um, you know, the VIN numbers on the motorcycle. So I, I took that sticker that was there off, just kind of cleaned it up. Took that reflector that was there off, which will help give it a more um, retro look. I threw that on there and then I um, kind of aged or weathered that decal. I hate that factory decals there, so I put that one on there. Okay, I gotta put a, um, gonna put the windshield on. Finish painting my ammo cans. Um, I got a front luggage rack for the front of the sidecar to put on. And I got my turn signal, sidecar turn signal grill guards to put on. And then I have a front fender license plate to put on. So I got some drilling to do. Okay. I will uh, do a whole video when I get this thing completely done.